everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Saturday, and like I told you, I'm back to show you a few more things that I have purchased in the last couple of weeks. With everything going on, with going out of town and everything, I picked up stuff here and there, and then some stuff I just haven't shown you, and then last night, Brooke wanted to go to Sephora, so I ended up picking up something else, but I think what I'm going to do is concentrate on what I've got on today so that I can show you what it looks like on and you know tell you about it so the first thing and it killed me not to tell you about this yesterday because I know it's something new and something that you may have thought about but it's the Tarte High Performance Naturals Found Sealer multitasking foundation SPF 20 with sunscreen and the color I got which I think is perfect is the medium tan honey and that goes for my summer skin and um, the best thing I love this bottle the top kind of just um, comes up like that and then it's a pump and let me look this up real quick and see what is supposed to be so special about this because you know you would think it would be kind of like the shape tape uh, foundation so let me look it up I'll be right back okay what it is Babasu found sealer a vegan skincare foundation foundation aka your total complexion solution this vegan makeup and skincare hybrid delivers an ultra comfortable natural radiant finish with a medium customizable coverage so you can live your day your way what it does helps hydrate gives appearance to plumper uh, skin while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles protect skin with spf 20 which is essential rain or shine formulated with nourishing super balm babasu essential fatty acids and antioxidants um, let's see how to use uh, for light pump directly on fingertips and smooth over your face as you would a tinted moisturizer light to medium pump foundation on the back of your hand and lightly tap onto skin with a Babasu foundation sponge for medium pump foundation to the back of your hand and buff into skin with your brush okay that is what I did and um, gosh, the lights gone down so I wore it the other day, um, I think the day after I got it, so I wore it I think Thursday, and I put it on, both times I've applied it with my um, IT Cosmetics double ended brush that I love so much, and the first day I did it I just got a light coverage and I just kind of went with that all day, and I really liked it. I was thinking, every time I looked at it throughout the day, I was thinking, how I was going to describe it to you, and I would describe it kind of like the Makeup Forever HD. You know how that kind of gives you a good pretty look but you can still see your skin through it a little bit and it doesn't totally cover all you know imperfections but it still looks good. That's how it was. Now today I put it on but I have something over it that is giving it a lot more coverage but it was kind of neat because it was a good building block. You know I put on a little bit of the um of this then I put on a little bit of the stellar concealer under my eyes and then I went in with the next thing that I'm going to show you and got you know perfect coverage so it's I really like it I really think that you would enjoy trying it I'm not sure that everyone is going to love it but it's not real heavy it does give good coverage and I really do like it. Um, this is my second time putting it on. I haven't worn it all day today, but I wore it a long time the other day and it really did last. So, and I always use these gripping, you know, um, today I use that jelly pack one and that is the stickiest one. I don't know if I would recommend that one because it is so sticky, but it's firming. So I did put it like all along my jawline to see if it would just help firm that, that you know, up. So. I won't know until I watch this video back if it looks like that. But um, so all in all, I would give this a good solid, you know, four stars. Five stars to me just comes with time. But, um, and I loved the color that I got. It was really pretty, medium tan honey. Okay, so that is that. Okay, the next thing um, that I cannot wait to tell you about is these, the Makeup Forever Matte what are they called? Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. And do you guys remember when these were in the round containers and how much I loved these? I think this is one of those things that I bought several of and I would always hit pan 
And so when I saw these, no, I asked her what was new at Sephora and she told me about these and I was like, oh gosh, I forgot all about that. So we did some, I sat down and we did some swatching and she tried it on her face and then we tried it on my face to see, you know, how much coverage it gave and everything. And the two colors that we chose, I think are perfect for my all over, just going over my foundation. We chose uh, Y375 which is this color, and I do have these on today. So Y375 would be my all over, kind of like set your makeup, but add a little bit more coverage powder. And then to go in and do like contour and bronzing, like I used to love to do, we chose uh, Y505 and perfect. I mean, it's just the prettiest, the true definition of yummy, and I had someone say to quit using that because they didn't know what it meant. When I say, I just came out with that word, and I guess it just means, um, I think it, I guess if I had to describe what it meant in makeup terms, um, that smooth, creamy, dreamy type look. You know what I mean? Where it just covers, but it's not cakey looking, and it's just smooth, and it just, looks good, almost airbrush. That is what I would say when I say a yummy look. It's just good. And that's what these are. And I used them again today, and both times that I put them on, it was just like, you know, just wonderful, the angel singing. It was just a good feeling just to see how good it covered and how good it looked, the color and everything. So I really recommend these, and a lot of you are familiar with those anyway. And then the brush that she used that day, when she did it on her own face, I looked at that, this brush and I thought, gosh, that did really well. And so I said, what brush was that? And she said, oh, it's one of the Sephora brushes. And it's actually the style that I don't like. I don't like brushes that have these thick, blunt ends because they don't go down in my little brush glasses very well. And this one actually is part of like a magnetic collection that sits on like a magnet. So, I don't know, as much as I like this one, I don't know if it'd be worth trying the others, maybe for my makeup table upstairs, I don't know. But this brush, I used it yesterday and today, and it is just like the perfect brush for that powder because it has a lot of, um, it's dense, but it, see how it still has a lot of movement? And I love, you guys know, I love an angled brush, and it just, Oh, I don't know, there's something about it. I and mean, you can even see when I'm doing it right now how neat it is. It is just a good brush. And I think it was less than $20. And I thought about saving it for my, I'm going to do a drugstore get ready with me. And I thought about saving it because even though it's not drugstore, it was inexpensive. I consider like the Sephora and Ulta brand kind of to be drugstore because it's about the same price as L'Oreal or any of those. But um, I just couldn't wait to tell you, and I think if you get the Makeup Forever powders, this would be a good brush for you to get. I kind of like to have a brush, you know, or something meant for each thing, and just kind of keep it that way, and that's how this is. It's just, I just really, really like it. So I wanted to tell you about that. Okay, yesterday I wore these, and I put them on again today, and it's two new blushes. One of them is the NARS Orgasm, and it's in the special edition case, and I was in Ulta, and I really like the girl that does NARS in Ulta, and she was showing me, you know, some different things, and I looked at this again, and I thought, you know, I'm going to get this. To me, it just looks smoother and less chunky than the original Orgasm blush. Oh my goodness, it didn't break. Thank goodness. And I will say it is. It is smoother and I really do like it. So I wanted to wear both of these. So when I saw that this one wasn't just crazy, crazy, crazy pigmented, I, both days, yesterday and today, what I did is I put this one on first and then I used this one. And this is a new blush from Lancome. And back when I had my makeover at Lancome with Gabe, Gabriel. He told me they were gonna be coming out with new blushes and some new eye palettes. So I've kind of had my eye out for that. And so I went and looked and they had several different ones and I was choosing between this one and a really blue pink one. And we tried 
one on each cheek that night that I went, and this one just really brightened up my whole face. And the name of it is Smile and Blush. I'll take the brush out. And it is a bright pinky peach. It's kind of like the orgasm, but on a brighter, maybe a little pinker note. And so that is what I have, you know, kind of like on the balls of my, ball, is that through the balls of your cheeks? <laughs> Sounds weird. But the, um, the, you know, the smiley part of my cheeks. And that did sound weird, didn't it? Balls on your cheeks. Anyway. I don't know. I don't know the full part of your cheeks. <laughs> oh, okay. The apple. Yes, yes. Okay, Brooke just told me it's the apples of your cheeks. Yes. <laughs> the, I guess I'm thinking of the balls of your feet or your something like that. I don't know. That's terrible. Okay, are you dipping on me? So I feel like I've gone into this enough. I really like these, but they don't beat the buxom blushes. The, um, what are the name of that, those blushes, Brooke? The buxom Wonderlust blushes. To me, those are still my favorite blushes. I was putting those back and realized I didn't have any earrings on. These are, these are another pair of my favorites. They're the um, Sheila Fajal Frederica hoops. They're a little bit smaller and I like that the way that wire is kind of wrapped around It just gives them a, a cool look. So I'm gonna put these in and carry on with um, Some more things that I've gotten and tried so I can tell you and Let's see right here in front of me. I have got the Lancome Le Stylo waterproof and the one I bought this last night because I had the other one out here to tell you about yesterday and I just didn't have time. This is the brown one that I got when I did the makeover. This eyeliner is the only eyeliner I have ever used that I can do what people talk about when they say, um, not just your upper waterline, but you ever hear people say like Lisa Eldridge or some of those makeup artists, they'll say, go up underneath your lashes and just rub back and forth to put eyeliner on the top of your eyes. And this is the only eyeliner I've been able to do that with. I can literally take, and I think I really like the brown the best, the chocolate, but I can take this eyeliner and literally go up underneath my eyes and just barely rub it back and forth in my lashes and it gets on top of my lashes and kind of underneath. And it's really easy and it lasts forever. Like it's waterproof. Um, and it comes off. It's like waterproof, long lasting, but it's not like you have to use waterproof, you know, remover. And I just love it. So I grabbed the black one last night when we were there and I used it today. And I do like it, but I just feel like this brown is kind of special. It's like a dark, dark brown and I've used it a lot. So love those. If you're on the, in the market for a, you know, retractable, good liner it gives you plenty of time to be able to smudge it out but then it stays it's just a good one and i have really enjoyed too um it's still out here from yesterday the dior this may be sold already though it's the dior in and out eyeliner waterproof and it's got the gold on one side and then the brown on the other i've been loving the gold let me put this in my waterline right now i don't know if you'll be able to see here hold on is that too close okay so i'm gonna Whew. My eyes are kind of sensitive, even though I wear contacts. Okay, so can you tell how it gives you a little bit of that, I've got something in my waterline look, but not dark, it doesn't close them in. And it's just so pretty. Ooh, I love that. That, and I do like the other end too, but just that end is so pretty. I'll, I can edit it out, baby, and plus my big head's in the way. Here. Okay, nobody even saw you. Just edit it I will. <laughs> okay, Will just went by to go get in the shower. Okay, so, um, and then while we're close, these are something I ordered um, before I even went to California, I was watching, oh, let me back you up some. Okay, I was watching um, Rachel, the beauty professor, and she was talking about these shadows from Nude Envy, and I love these uh, lipsticks, and I just was curious, and they weren't cheap, they were, you know, um, I think I ordered them from Neiman Marcus, 
and they come in these real pretty little cases and I ordered two that she showed and one of them is Desire and it's beautiful. It's what I've got on today. It's the only shadow besides this little one that you'll see, but it's the, only, it's the main shadow that you see. This is the only shadow. If you like um, Bare Minerals uh, Naked, it wasn't Naked, what was it? Bare Minerals Bare Skin, that's what it's similar to. It is just, oh, it's pretty. And really, I did not need lashes, but since I was doing a video, I put on some short, more natural-ish lashes that I'd already used that were in my clear cube. And, um, so I have this on and I just think it's so pretty and I think so many of you would like it and it is the perfect summer eyeshadow. To me, a summer eyeshadow is a one eyeshadow that you can wear all over and you can go. Because in my mind, the summer is about the lips and the skin. In the winter, I like lighter skin with more contour, a smoky eye, and you know that's when I like to do more of the matte lips, the nude lips and stuff like that. So this, I think is worth it. It just went on like a breeze and I really liked it. And then the other color she recommended is this one and it's called Beguile. And so it is, here let me swatch these for you. That's Beguile and then this is Desire. Desire is a little smoother so they might be two different finishes. So here they are. I mean, aren't they pretty? And I do have, um, I put on my Vita Librata on my arms and hands because I noticed yesterday how uneven my skin was. And uh, so if you see something on my arms and stuff, that's what it is. But aren't those beautiful? Let me put them in my face so you can see. So I love these. Oops, still got my water wipes right here. And um, I think you would like them. I'm curious to try maybe a taupey color because some days I feel like doing a warm shade like this, and then some days I just really crave my taupe. Okay, so, looks like I have shown you almost everything. Um, this is something I say kind of silly, but it's not to me because I love brushes. I love, I'm not really faithful to one brand. I just like different brands, and I like different style brushes, and I've been real happy with these. It's the Smith line, and I saw these on Beautylish when I was ordering something else and I got this one for brows and I love it. There's just something about it fitting the whole front part of my brow. I've got brow gel in now, but you can just kind of go like, oh, it won't even move because I've got the benefit and that's that stuff's serious. But I just do like this and brush them up and then like that. And it's just neat. I don't know what it is. It might be something silly, but I love it. It kind of just goes right there across the whole brow. And so I've enjoyed that. And then I ordered this, the Smith 202. I'm always in the market for a good thin liner brush. I do like this, but I think I still prefer that Louise Young really thin brush if I'm gonna go for that type of brush, but this one is nice. Okay, and then for lips today, I have on my good old Lancome Ideal. I just, I haven't used that in so long. Ideal is a little bit lighter than nude sandals and it's not quite as brown. It's a little bit more of a mauve brown tone and so I chose to put it on with this which is something new. The girl told me she loved these from Sephora and I got the, I don't know if there's a number or a name on this. I'll put it down below but it's one of their nude shades and it's kind of like the peachy tones that we like. It's a little bit lighter than the Golden Tiger. Um, and so that's what I have on, but I don't want to put any more on. Here, I'll swatch it. And it's kind of like the glossy, creamy, peachy tone. And, um, but Brooke told me about these that just came in from Nude Sticks. So I grabbed this and I haven't used it. And it is a new little set, um, Lip Glossé Nude O2. And it's like a little collection of uh, Nude Sticks glosses that are in the nude colors. And so I grabbed this one, and I think it's gonna be a little bit more of a pink than a peach, but I thought it would look good with this combo, and we would try it together and see. Okay, minty, smelling, smooth feeling. Yep, I like it. Oh, it feels good. 
not too sticky. Yes, very smooth. What would I compare this to? Kind of like a buxom, but it does have like a, a different, it's not peppermint, it's like a different type of minty smell and taste. It feels really good. So wanted to show you that too. That's just something. I feel like, you know, I want to try a little bit of the new stuff so I can tell you guys about it and give you my opinion. And um, I think that's it. I could go on into some other stuff, but I've got so much going on around me with everyone being home. And I'll do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. I'll be right back. I'm laughing now because my legs are just so white. I didn't put the um, Vita Labrata on my legs because I didn't know if I was gonna wear a dress or not. And I put this dress on. It's one that I bought before I went to um, Reward Style. And I bought it from, I don't know, somewhere cheap. Like either um, Misguided. I thought it was Forever 21, but it had a different tag on it than Forever 21. And it's not, I wouldn't recommend it. It's uh, scratchy and I don't think I'll end up keeping it on. But I kind of wanted to wear something other than black since I've been wearing black so much lately. And then the... Um, sandals that I have on are the just clear sandals. I love these. I just, they're, they go with everything. I think that you should get a pair just to try. These weren't crazy expensive. I'm looking for a pair that you slide into that don't have like a cork or a, uh, you know, I want them to be all clear because I love that they go with everything and they just don't really have, um, they just go with any vibe that you want. So, and that's it. I will probably take this off and we're going out to dinner tonight. I'll probably just put on something comfy until tonight and then wear another dress tonight. And then I've already shown you my earrings. Um, my nail polish is my favorite nude ever. It is Barefoot in Barcelona. I messed up my thumb and it's just bugging me. But, and um, I told you about my earrings, my same necklace that I wear all the time. And I think that's it. Thank you for everything and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.